What should we tell our children? What we have to tell our children is about the cycles. The cycles that we've been to. We have to tell them that what is natural in any human group is to be whole. Is to be whole means to be in my eye. It means to be in balance and harmony as a family, as an ethnic family, as well as a nuclear family. That's to be whole. That's part of what's natural. That's normal. That's how all people are when they're not faced by trouble. To tell them that they are divine. To tell them that they are creative. To tell them that they are connected and that they can be conscious and must be. And to tell them that they must develop character and to keep them informed. But how do you tell them? You tell children things by doing what it is you want them to know. You cannot get them to learn anything sending them to somebody else hoping that they will fix your children for you. That's the first thing I want to know. That's what I mean by wholeness, those things that I was talking about there. There was a time before the trouble when we were whole. We can find it in the text. We can find what people were striving for in the text. And you've heard that mentioned. And then the trouble. Tell them about trouble. Tell them about how trouble works. What happens to the family in trouble? What happens to the environment in trouble? What do politicians do to make trouble? You know, at a certain point, I've written uh, uh, a summary of the structure of domination. There are seven facets to it. One of them is to make sure people have no memory mm -hmm. as a people, no collective memory that's true and real. Another is to make sure that people have no collective identity. They can have individual identity, not a collective identity. Another is to teach the people the superiority of their oppressor over themselves, culturally and intellectually and every other way. Another is to make sure you control the socialization process of the people you want to dominate. Ooh. Why else would you destroy all the meta nature and make us wait hundreds of years before somebody could painstakingly put it back together again so we could read the remnants of what, it left, what was left that you hadn't already burned up? Why would you shut down the African schools that came into being out of slavery when they were better than the ones that you funded for them after that? Why would you do that? Why do the people who run African schools now that have the highest achievement in their district get fired? Like Audrey Bullard in Kansas City. Like Freya Rivers in Lansing, Michigan. Um, why is it that the people who are national champions in forensics are treated like dirt by their principal and the school board, like Tommy Lindsay in Logan High School in the Bay Area in California, got the MacArthur Genius Award, and his principal asked him, what makes people think you're a genius? And he said, because I never thought to ask you that question. <laughs> Movies haven't been made about them yet, especially the movies 
from the African perspective that will say what went on there. How did they mobilize in time of trouble and overthrow trouble and establish Ma'at again for themselves? It's happened before. It's happened many times. But if our children don't know that, then we will not have informed them wisely. And then our children must be told that their essence ultimately is spiritual. Yes. That they are spirit. Yes. We live in a world which is telling them in every way that they are material and that they must crave materialism, that they are hogs for power and they must crave to be hoggish and powerful over other people. That is not, that's the value of the African World History Project. When we go back and uncover the septepi for African people the first time, when we read those texts, Patah Hotel is not talking about, doesn't sound like Machiavelli at all. And every time Africans confront Machiavelli, they put him down. That's what uh, the president of the University of Sacre, our, our people did in uh, looking at Machiavelli in Sacre. They looked at it and criticized Machiavelli. One of the books that uh, Ahmed Bible was supposed to have written was a critique of the prince. Machiavelli's the prince. That's what they said. I, I would love to know what that would have looked like. Because I'm sure it would have been critiqued from the point of view of my eye. In other words, when we go back to wholeness, then we have an image that we could tell to our children so that they would know what to strive for should they be freed and uh, liberated enough to make some choices for themselves and for their children. 